I love it. It blends well. Well, it blends well. Welcome back. So I got my May favorites here for you today. So as usual, I'm going to quickly run through my overall Friday favorites. And then I have some makeup-y things. I have a skincare thing, a body care thing, some jewelry things, and just some things to talk about. So let's get to the thing. For my overall Friday favorites for eyes, I would have to say my Coastal Sense Revealed Matte Palette. This is just such nice quality. Every time I use it, I love it. It blends well. Well, it blends well, it wears well throughout the day. It's just a great palette and it's a great price, like $19.95 or something like that for 20 shadows. So really good price. For my overall blush favorite for the month, I would have to say this one. This is Tarte's Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. This is the um, birthday, one of the birthday options for the Sephora point perk, um, birthday point perk. So. I got the Tarte set and it's just a beautiful, neutral, everyday blush color. It's awesome. I also have to say that these are some of my overall cheek favorites for the month. So this is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Peach Glow. Such a beautiful peachy highlighter. It just, I don't know, blew me away. I fell in love with it this month. It's just a beautiful highlighter and doesn't get as much attention as the other colors, but it's really incredible. I also really love this. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter. This is in Molten Gold, so I do have this on today. It's a beautiful gold highlight. Um, it is a little bit chunky and a little bit messy, kind of a little bit powdery, but it's so pretty, I don't mind. Like, I think it's just beautiful on the skin, but it is that kind of like thicker texture, but it's still gorgeous. And then overall lip favorites for the month, I would have to say the Merle Norman Lip Duets from their summer collection. These are just so fun, great for throwing in your purse, adorable to look at, really comfortable. They smell really good like vanilla, just really good. These are my two favorite colors. This one is Miami and this one is Maui. So kind of the more like peachy one and kind of the more pinky one. They're so pretty. So I have a couple makeup-y favorites that are definitely overall favorites for the month. This is the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. Now like a dang dong, I totally forgot to wear it today. I'd already started putting on my um, It Cosmetic Superhero and just forgot. But I've been trying this this month and I'm really, really liking it. Um, I do use a lot of coats of it, but I use a lot of coats of most mascaras except for the superhero, but even that, I probably use more coats than most people. I mean, I use two or three coats of that one, and it's a pretty like intense mascara. So I use a lot of coats of this one too, but it's like a really interesting looking wand. My mean old camera cut me off again, but it's got like an interesting looking wand where it's kind of like wide on one side, but then it has some like short stubby bristles on one part, and then it's got this little like comey thing. So you can use all the different parts like to kind of like define your lashes, you know, make them look longer, really get at the base of them with this little comb and on the inner and outer corners. So it's just really interesting, but I really do like the formula. I think it builds on itself really nicely and does give nice volume and length and separation. It doesn't smudge on me, which CoverGirl mascaras are like the only ones that don't smudge on me. I don't know why, but they just wear really well, so I love them. I think the packaging is really cute too. It kind of like, I don't know, reminds me of the Benefit Roller Lash, um, but this one's not necessarily like marketed to like curl up your lashes, but it's supposed to, you know, make them look teased and full and all that. And I think it does it. I really like it. And I've also really been enjoying this concealer. This is from NARS. I got it in gratis, so that's why it has my name on it. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I have it in Light 2 Vanilla. I'm so glad I got this in gratis to get to try it because I really had not given this a fair shot at all. I'd really just overlooked it, and it's awesome. Like, I thought it was gonna be, I thought potted concealer, it's gonna be thick, it's gonna be too heavy for the under eyes, and that's mainly what I do concealing on my face. Like, that's the main area. So I just thought I wouldn't like the texture of it. Really hadn't played around with it because it's so nice. It's a really nice consistency to it. Like it's, I don't know, like thin and creamy. So it blends really well, 
but it also has really good coverage and it doesn't like get, I'm sure if you use too much, it could get cakey, but I thought it was going to get cakey really quick and it really doesn't at all. Like it just blends really beautifully, builds on itself, covers well. It's just a really beautiful concealer. I'm so impressed with it. And honestly, I think I'm almost liking it better than the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, the stick one, like that I've loved for so long. I still really like that one, but this one might be winning me over, over that one, but just because of how it blends so well. It's really good. And a skincare favorite, this is from the brand The Ordinary. I'd never even heard of this brand. I guess it was like living under a rock or something. I'd never heard about it and you guys told me about it. So I looked it up and I ordered a bunch of different products to try from Beautylish. That's where I purchased mine. So I'm still trying out the other products and deciding what I think about those. But this one I can tell you is already a standout favorite for me. This brand is crazy affordable. If you're like me and you hadn't heard about it, it's like six to $15 for pretty much everything that I've seen. So just really affordable. So the one that's a standout favorite for me is the Alpha Lipoic Acid 5% it says it's a concentrated serum to brighten and to target signs of age. Now this is one that's more intense. It says apply two to three drops over the entire face, a maximum of two to three times per week. So it's a treatment and it's an intense treatment. It says this treatment is highly concentrated and daily use is not recommended. Do not use on irritated or sensitive skin. Store in a cool place. Um, it says a highly stable water-free alpha lipoic acid solution. So what I notice about this is the times that I use it, I wake up and my skin just looks better. I feel like I say that about every skincare favorite thing that I like, but that's really kind of like my meter of do I like it or not. I just kind of like assess my face in the morning because sometimes I wake up and my skin looks um, more crepey. Like my, um, you know, I have some like discoloration on my cheeks, like sunspots and things. Sometimes they look more defined and other days they look lighter. So the days that I've used this, I do notice that especially those areas on my cheeks, my skin just looks more even. That's really what I notice. Those areas look lighter and my skin just looks more smooth and even. So it's an intense, you know, product and like solution. What do they call it? A concentrated serum. It's an intense serum. So if you have sensitive skin, probably not for you, but if you can handle like acids and things like that on your skin, I would say definitely check this one out because it's really good and super affordable. I don't remember how much this one was, but probably in the seven to $10 range, which is just like, blows my mind, it's so cool. And a body care favorite that I am in love with. I've never tried this before until recently and I'm just like instantly in love with this. This is the Josie Marin Argon Liquid Gold Self Tanning Oil. It does come with a mitt. I got like a big set from QVC that came with a mitt. I don't know, I don't think if you just buy it by itself it does. I'm not sure, but I like the mitt too that came in the set that I got. What I like about this, it says hydrating natural glow. So I just put like a little bit of lotion like on my knees, my elbows, anywhere that kind of like collects the product and gets too dark because it can get really dark. So I definitely use lotion in those areas and on my feet. That's something I will definitely note about this. The first time I used it, I used some on my feet and my feet were very dark. Like I would say four shades darker than my natural skin color and probably three shades darker than like the tanned version of the rest of my body. So it'll really tan your feet. So I would say don't touch your feet or just barely like maybe with, I don't know, an old makeup brush, put a little bit of this and maybe some lotion and like mix it, maybe. It just tans the feet real quick. But what I love about it is that it looks really nice and tan, like it really does tan you. Now it's been several days, so it's wearing off. So don't judge it by how I'm looking right now. I'm lighter at this point, but when you use it, it really does have a nice intense color and it's hydrating and it's really easy to blend. Like that's what I love about it. With the mitt that they um, have in that set, it just blends it really easily, so it's fast. It does take a little bit to dry, but not a super long time. 
and my skin just really is dry on the rest of my body. Like my face, not so much, but the rest of my body is dry. So I like how hydrating this is and just how easily it blends and how dark it looks on the skin. It's just awesome. And when you first use it, it smells nice, but it, I haven't found a self tanner that doesn't give you that smell, that like baking biscuit smell. You're probably still gonna smell like a baking biscuit with this, but I don't mind because it works really well and I haven't found a sunless tanner that doesn't do that. So loving it. And then lastly, I have some handmade jewelry to mention to you. I am still gonna do that video, so be watching for that. I don't think that I've mentioned these two artists to you guys before maybe like in a haul or something, I don't remember, but they're worth mentioning again, and I will mention them again in that video whenever I do it, but I've been loving them this month, so I'm including them in my favorites because they're favorites. So first off is Rewind Jewelry. So this is Rewind Jewelry, this is Rewind Jewelry. So if you like really edgy, rocker-looking jewelry, you will love their stuff. Just incredible artistry. So there's one necklace that I absolutely love. This one is like a choker slash, it can be a bracelet too. So I wear it both ways and I love it both ways. This one is really like a statement piece. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, like it's just cool rivets and I love the different chains that they use. There's just a lot of attention to detail and this is all handmade. So it's just so cool. This one's a longer one. So I absolutely love that one. And then this one is a more simple one. I've really only seen this once at a show that they were at. Um, normally they do kind of more involved things, um, but this one's a little bit more simple. It's a little key and then it has the different chains. I just love the collection of different kinds of chains. Like I think it makes it so much more interesting and cool. And then also I love Key J Jewelry. She is so sweet. She knows so much about historical keys and locks. She knows the history of them, where they come from, what their story is. So this is one of my necklaces from her. So it's got a vintage, I think that this one is a German padlock key. And this is a vintage, I'm losing my voice, a vintage um, amusement park coin. So I love that. This one is so cool. I believe that this is an English key. I keep little notes to myself, like about the different pieces that I purchased from her, but I didn't bring my notes in here, so I'll be sure and like actually have the right information when I do that video. But anyway, there is that one. That one is so cool. And then this one is really awesome. This is my newest one. This one is, um, she called it kind of like a timekeeping key, so it doesn't open anything, but they used to use these for basically doing timestamps. So this was used by train engineers that they would have to stop at different stops and like put this into a little place and like turn it because it has a number on the side. I don't know if you can see that. And it would kind of like make an impression to um, basically like note that they had been there and that they were doing all their stops. So just cool. I love history. I love interesting things. And these are just such cool designers and I'm obsessed with them. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving in May, either, I don't know, makeup favorites or fashion or skincare or body care or whatever. I would just love to know your favorites. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.